Britain now has a government minister for loneliness. London, Britain appointed a minister for loneliness on Wednesday to tackle what Prime Minister Theresa May described as the sad reality of modern life affecting millions of people. Tracy Crouch, a junior minister for sport and civil society, will take on the role as part of a broader strategy to combat loneliness in Britain. For far too many people, loneliness is the sad reality of modern life May said. Ex-Surgeon General sounds alarm on loneliness epidemic I want to confront this challenge for our society and for all of us to take action to address the loneliness endured by the elderly, by carers by those who have lost loved ones people who have no one to talk to or share their thoughts and experiences with the Prime Minister added. More than 9 million people say they are always or often lonely out of a population of 65.6 million, according to the British Red Cross. The charity describes loneliness and isolation as a hidden epidemic affecting people across all ages at various moments in their life, such as retirement, bereavement or separation. The ministerial appointment follows a recommendation from a committee in memory of Joe Cox, a lawmaker for the opposition Labour Party who was murdered by a far-right extremist. The commission found in a study published last year that the detrimental effect of loneliness on an individual's health can be equal to smoking 15 cigarettes per day. Research shows loneliness can worsen common cold Joe experienced and witnessed loneliness throughout her life especially as a new student at Cambridge University and separated from her sister Kim for the first time the Joe Cox Foundation wrote on Twitter. She would be delighted by Tracy Crouch's new job as Minister for Loneliness and would be saying let's get to work. The foundation added. The Prime Minister was to host a reception on Wednesday to celebrate the legacy left by Cox, who's killing just days ahead of the 2016 Brexit referendum shocked the nation. Britain's Loneliness Initiative will see a strategy published later this year, with input from national and local government public services, the voluntary sector and businesses. Based on the materials of the site, 